everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten Kopp, kitchen designer with King's Kitchen, your absolute favorite team for kitchen design and remodeling. Now today I want to dive a little bit deeper into the Belmont cabinet line. It's one of my favorite cabinet lines and I want to tell you when you need it in your kitchen, my absolute honest review about the cabinet line and some of my favorite door styles. And really quick before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I know you want to be part of our kitchen gang. I talk about kitchens every single Friday and make sure you learn everything you need to know on designing and remodeling your own kitchen. So Belmont right now offers three cabinet lines, the 1600 line, the 1900 line, and Vero. Now the 1900 line is really Belmont's flagship line. That's where you find all the cool door styles, all the modifications that your heart can desire on your project, and there's really no stopping to your creativity. Now the 1600 line is a little bit of a limited version of the 1900 line. We take away some door styles, we take away some modifications, and we try to save some money during production that we can then pass on to you. So the 1600 line is a little bit more budget friendly. Now there's also the Vero line, which they've released just a little while ago, about two years, and it's their very, very modern contemporary line. It's inspired by Italian and European kitchens. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all about handless um, design and handless kitchen features, but I'll dive into that in another video. There's also something brand new hitting the market with Belmont, and that's going to be another video, and it's coming up really soon. So again, please make sure you subscribe because it's such a cool new product that they're releasing and we're one of the first dealers to test it out and we want to give you some savings with that because we want to you know test some first kitchens with you guys with this product so i'm really excited so make sure you subscribe and then you'll get notified when we're ready to talk to you guys about this anyhow so let's talk about the 16 and the 1900 line for today so the 1900 line is their flagship line you have just an amazing amount of door styles, of modifications you can choose from. There's really no stopping on your creativity. On top of that, you can do customizations and you can do um, just really custom requests. So we can draw up pretty much anything and see if Belmont thinks it's a, it's a smart idea to get this into production or not. But I mean, I've done pretty custom stuff. I did one time I did a, a kitchen and the entire kitchen consisted out of drawers. Even the sink base was a 36 inch wide single drawer that was pulled out. And that was in the mirror line, but it was so custom and Belma was totally fine with it, which I think is really cool. Now, the main thing why I love going to Belmont is they offer a no charge modification on your cabinet widths. So, most cabinet lines always work in increments of threes, which means you have a 30 inch base, you'll have a 33 inch base and a 36. But with Belmont, we can modify those widths up to a 16th of an inch for no charges at all. So we can create a really custom space without any fillers where we don't need them and we use every inch in your kitchen. So that's one of the reasons I'm, a, I'm really a great fan of, of Belmont and I really work with them a lot. So the next thing is you've got your 1900 line and then you've got the version of the 1600 line that basically is, okay, we're gonna take some doors away and we're going to take some modifications away and keep it super simple. That way we save during the production and we those savings get passed on to you as the customer. And that's great. And the 1600 line is where I start out mostly with my clients. And then depending on what they're needing, then we can bump it up to the 1900 line. Now, the main differences between the two lines, um, there are some differences in the construction. So the 1900 line basically consists of a three quarter inch box construction and the 1600 line was then changed to a five eighths of an inch box construction. The cool thing though, with both lines, I can still get um, my limited lifetime warranty. So there's no change even going to the 1600 line, which is why I love it and I use it a lot. 
Now, another really cool feature in the 1900 line from Belmont is that you can pick from four different drawer options. And you basically start out, you can pick between your birch wood plywood drawer. So it's a nice wooden basic drawer. And by the way, everything in Belmont comes with gloom soft close features. So every drawer already comes with that. Now your birch um, wood plywood drawer, and um, it's also called the access drawer. And this one comes with a 75 pound load capacity um, already as your standard, which is really great. And um, you can either go with this one or for no off charge at all in the 1900 line, you can also go with your gray satino drawer. It's a light gray epoxy powder coated steel drawer, as you can see right here. And I really, really like it. It's actually one of my favorite drawers for Belmont. Now, um, you can also pay a small upcharge and then you can have the heritage store. Now the heritage store is almost like a more luxury version of the birch store. It comes in alter. It's also a really nice wood drawer. Also with the 75 pound load capacity, as you can see right here. And then you can also pick um, the fourth option, which is the Legra drawer. Now the Legra drawer is a dark gray steel drawer. This bad boy already comes standard with an 88 pound load capacity. And the really cool thing is two things. So you could get, um, whenever you're um, working with really, really wide and big drawer bases, as soon as you hit the 42 inches, your load capacity goes all the way up to 150 pounds, which is just amazing. And then you can also pick the Legra drawer with the tip on function, which basically means you simply tip the drawer front and your drawer opens. Again, this is a, a really cool feature when you're trying to achieve handleless kitchen design. Now looking into the 1600 line, here's where we take a couple of options away. In the 1600 line, you choose between your birch wood access drawer and you can also choose the Satino drawer. And that's how they keep it simple, right? Now, a really cool feature as well in Belmont is that you can pick your interior finishes for your cabinets. Again, something not everybody's going to ask you, but with Belmont, you can do that. So you can pick between, let's say you're in the 1600 line, you can pick between a white interior or for a very small upcharge, you can pick a maple looking interior. Now, remember the design you're going for, because if I'm designing, let's say a more standard or transitional shaker, like white shaker uh, kitchen, I would probably prefer the wood access drawer uh, combined with a maple looking interior. But if I'm designing a really cool, edgy, contemporary look, I probably prefer a white interior with one of the gray steel um, drawers, like the Satino drawer, right? I'm a little bit OCD about that. I want that to match on the inside. So everything kind of has the same design feel. So in the 1600 line, choose between white and maple. And in the 1900 line, you also have your white maple, but you have a gray interior, which also goes really well with your light Satino drawer or your dark Legra drawer, as you see right here. So those are your basic differences. Um, I start in the 1600 line with most of my projects and then I kind of go into the 1900 depending on how I need it. You can kind of pick and choose and even combine the two lines for some door styles. And um, sometimes it really makes sense to start in the 1900 line, especially when it comes to your door styles because there's certain woods and certain wood veneers you can only choose in the 1900 line. So that's why we're going to talk about some of my favorite door styles. And let's start in the uh, 1600 line. And one of our all time favorites for everybody in our office, and I think everybody that knows Belmont just absolutely is in love with this door, and that's the Matisse. And the Matisse door, um, looks like this. It's a basically a slab panel door with just a really, really small trim detail. And we have it on display in our showroom in black in this color cityscape. We've done it in this color and pepper on several projects. I mean, look at this picture. 
the Matisse door. If, if a door could be sexy, it would be the Matisse, okay? Let's just put it like that. Matisse is just, it fits. It's, it's exactly where the design trend is going with that thin frame. I love the Matisse. Now, the Matisse is also available in the 1900 line, but in the 1600 line is when you can get it in the paint finish only. And we'll talk about some other finishes later. Uh, next up in the 1600 line is my absolute go-to shaker style, which is the door index. Now this is the index and I'm sorry, my samples are a little bit beat up because they, they kind of like fly around in my car a lot and go to people's houses. But this is the index door style in Alder and it's one of the most used door styles probably with Belmont and it's um, their really traditional um, shaker that they have. The cool thing is it's a really wide frame. It has a slab drawer front, which makes it look very contemporary. And to me, the fact that the detail to the slab part of the door is so thin, it's almost, it's like a quarter of an inch, makes it feel very modern. So when I hold this up next to other uh, cabinet lines and their shakers, I really like the, the slick look of the index door. And again, with the slab drawer fronts, it has more of a modern feel. And then here's a picture, as you can see, um, where they use the index door and it just looks really cool. Now, brand new on the last update that Belmont did are two newer versions of the shaker door, which is the Evoke and the Invoke. And I have a picture of them here. So the Evoke has the detailed drawer fronts and the Invoke has the slab drawer fronts. What makes these doors so different from the index is that your style and rail your frame detail that what makes that shaker detail is only two and a half inches wide. So it's pretty narrow. And when we look at designers and what designers have been going towards is more of a narrow style and rail detail. And um, it has a more modern touch to it. So we want to design things that will be in style for a long, long, long period of time, right? So the Invoke and the Evoke is a really cool option of a newer form of shaker that you could do for your house and for your kitchen. Now, last but not least, when it comes to my all-time favorite door styles in the 1600 cabinet line by Belmont, is the Terra and the Firma door. Now, they're basically the same, both doors, come in a textured laminate finish. So it's really fun. If you were to touch this, it actually is textured and you can feel the laminate. It's not just like a single sheet, it's textured. The Terra door basically means that the grain direction is horizontal. And in the Firma door, the grain direction is vertical. And here's a picture with one of the doors as an example. And you can see it has a very cool modern touch to it. And this is probably one of their most used door styles next to the index when it comes to laminate. And I would pick laminate a lot when, of course, you're doing a modern design, right? But you can combine this really nicely, even with a shaker, but give your kitchen so much more durability because laminate can take a beating. It's surprisingly strong. Um, if you're in a household with kids running around and dogs running around and water splashing all over, a white shaker cabinet is not going to look good for long. That's when I recommend to you a laminate finish. And there's so many cool colors and you can combine them with your traditional white shaker and maybe have the white shaker on your wall cabinet and then put on your basis something like this laminate and it's going to look really good for a long time. And real quick, guys, don't forget to give this video a like. I'd love to hear your favorite door styles below, so make sure to drop your comments. And then, of course, I'll have the link and everything for Belmont below and the door styles I'm showing you and where you can find the links and how you could get samples for this, okay? So let's move on to my favorite 1900 door styles. Now, I've already said earlier, I'm a super fan of the Matisse door, right? Now, the Matisse door can come in different finishes. So this in the, is available in the 1900 line, and it's actually, it is a rift white oak 
in a natural, well, basically stain is natural, so does the natural color. And I mean, how cool does this look? When it comes in the wood form, it's actually called the Zizan door. And again, I'll have all the links for you guys below because it can be a little bit tricky in the beginning when you look at the different door styles. But also check out this display. This is the display Belmont has in their showroom up in uh, uh, Sumner in Washington State. And it is gorgeous. I'm just such a fan of this store style, especially with the Rift White Oak, how it's so linear. It looks just super, super cool. Now let's look at this next picture and let's actually talk about the Cove door and the Madrid door. And here I have the Cove for you guys and I hope you can see this, but it basically already has a finger Cove in the door style. So it's not part of the cabinet that is part of the door style. So it's a really easy way to design a handleless kitchen. And in this picture, you see the cold door in the pepper color, um, the dark gray pepper, and also the Madrid. And the Madrid door is basically a slab veneered, a wood veneered door. And the Madrid basically has a horizontal grain direction. And in this picture, you can see it with the walnut wood in a bourbon stain. And last but not least, check out this picture with the cross block door. Now, this is also one of their newer doors and it looks so cool. It's right on trend. And the way that they've used it in this picture, I just love it. So it's combined with a lighter gray wood stain around the perimeter. And on the island, you see the cross block detail in a really, really dark gray, which is the, the paint color pepper again. So this is just awesome. I love this look. Now that's it for my favorite door styles from Belmont in the 16 and 1900 cabinet line. And my honest review about Belmont and their cabinets is that as a kitchen designer and a kitchen remodeler, Belmont just makes it so easy for us to work with them. So they have all these fun door styles, they have all these modifications for us, and they make it super easy for us to customize. And then when we have any issues and you know, a door comes on site and it might be damaged from shipping, they make it super easy for us to get it replaced. And believe me, I've worked with other companies where it's jumping through hoops and you have to fill out all this paperwork and, you know, and it's just really difficult. So Belmont makes it super easy. I love the customer service. I love the personal feel. Now it's a huge company, but it's still family owned. And to me, it's local. So that's another thing that I like. Now, obviously, with that being said, Belmont is manufactured in Sumner, Washington, and it is local to me, but they are nationwide. They actually ship their cabinets all across the United States. And if you are seeing this and you are not in Washington state, but you do really like Belmont cabinets, no worries, we can still work with you. We have been doing so many projects remotely now and we have a super easy process. So make sure to visit our website. I have everything linked below for you. Reach out to us and we'd love to work with you remotely on your new kitchen project and work with you with Belmont Cabinet. And really quick, before I let you guys go, I have super exciting news. We're gonna do a couple of Fridays now where we are giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is in this picture and also linked below for you guys. When you follow us, check out the rules that we will post every Friday on how you guys can win $25 on Amazon. And I know everybody can use that, right? So um, other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.